back to my channel and if you are new here then this is Debbie and in this video I'm going to show you how to get rid of dark circles, wrinkles and puffy eyes with homemade remedies. But before I show you the secret ingredients, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell icon so that you get notified every time I post a video. Also follow me on my TikTok and Instagram handles. With that, let's just get started. I use four very, very easily available stuffs which are always there in your kitchen to get rid of my dark circles, my under eye wrinkles, uh, my fine lines, puffy eyes, pretty much everything. And the first thing is cucumber. Yes, this is so refreshing and it is also the best astringent. What I do is I make small slices like these and then I place them over my eyes and I like to keep my cucumber in the fridge just before doing it because then it is cold and when you place it on your eyes, oh my god, it's so refreshing. It literally takes away all your tiredness and it has a lot of antioxidants so it refreshes your eyes, also helps with your fine lines, your dark circles and it just refreshes your eyes so much. So what I do is after the end of the day, I place these two slices when I'm lying down on my sofa or listening to music, uh, which I cannot do right now, but I uh, just to give you the feel, this is how it is. And it stays on my eyes for 10 minutes, and sometimes I even fall asleep, but 10 minutes, and it is so, so, so refreshing. You are going to thank me for this thing. And it's so easy, it's just so easy. And then after I take it off, whatever is left in this cucumber, I just rub it all over my face, because the juice in this thing, is so beneficial for your skin it is the best astringent or toner that you can think of moving on to the next one is potato yes this one is red potato you can use yellow potato idaho potatoes any potato potatoes naturally have bleaching properties so they lighten your not only your dark circles but also your pigmentation on your face on your skin so again i take my knife and i make slices just like I did for the cucumber and I place it on my eyes just like I did for the cucumber slices. You can also even uh, grate it but I like it like this because it is less messy and it takes less work. You just cut them into slices and you put them over your eyes. I mean it's easy peasy. And then again just like uh, I mentioned uh, with the cucumber, you can just rub it all over your face. This has natural bleaching properties just like I mentioned. So it's also going to lighten your skin and take off any scars, any pigmentation. So boom. The next one that I use is tea bag. Now this is a used tea bag. What I do is after this tea bag is used, I put them in the fridge in a bowl. If it, it can be black tea, green tea is really good if you can use green tea bags because they have the highest amount of caffeine. Caffeine depuffs your eyes. So you can just keep any used tea bags in your fridge and then just place it on your eyes. I'm looking like uh, Captain Jack Sparrow right now. Just like with cucumber and potato, you lie down. Pretty much anything that you need to do with your eyes, you have to lie down otherwise it's gonna drop Duh. so you just have to lie down and put the two tea bags on your eyes and just let it steep the other one that I use is for my coffee machine and it's actually the ground coffee yes this is basically the coffee bean that I put into my coffee machine every morning and then it kind of grinds it and uh, hammers it down I'm sorry I don't know the exact term of the process but this is how it looks so this is ground coffee and you can just mix it with water and put it over your eyes or you can even mix these ground coffee with yogurt. You have to kind of eyeball it with the amount of ground coffee that you have because you don't want the paste to be liquidy. You want it stiff so that when you put it on, it should not drip, it has to stay on. I kind of change my position a little bit because I think it's better light here. But coming back to my point, I used enough yogurt for my ground coffee, enough to make a paste. Yogurt also has uh, lactic acid, just like milk. You can also use milk, which again has lightening properties, bleaching properties. So it's also very good for your face. So this is the consistency. See, it's so thick. So what I do is I basically take this 
and I put it around my eyes just like you would put your concealer. Now this is only if you want to focus around the eyes and this is also very good for your skin so you might as well go in and this is such a nice exfoliator depuffs your face but when you put it around your face and when you take it off just make sure that you are removing it with circular motion and not being too hard on your skin just put the softest pressure I'm looking a little crazy right now but this is so nice just keep it for like 5-10 minutes just keep it for like 5-10 minutes and boom Fresh eyes, fresh face. When taking, just remember when taking it off, put the lightest pressure and move your fingers in circular motion to wash it off and use warm water. So I just wash my face, and when you're doing your, when you're also putting the coffee or any kind of face pack on your face, follow it up with the serum, the essence, and the moisturization with your nighttime routine or morning time routine. Depends on when you are doing the mask. Whenever I'm doing this process, which I mix and match throughout my week, I follow it up with my moisturizer. Now there are two moisturizers that I use. I love, love, love this. If you haven't tried the Glow recipe, then I do recommend that you try. This is the Guava Vitamin C Bright Eye Gel Cream. This is what I use for my morning. And this is uh, the Glow recipe Avocado Melt. Now this is what I use for my nighttime. This has retinol. So what I do during the morning time, I just take pump a few drops of it and go around the orbital section of my eye with the ring finger because the ring finger puts the lightest pressure so you're not pulling and tugging your skin. And during the night time when I go to bed, when I'm done with my skincare routine, I put this on uh, around my eyes, then I let it sit through the night. And it just makes your eyes so much, so much gorgeous. Uh, now you can also use this for your daytime, but make sure that you're slathering up some SPF on top of it as well. This is vitamin C, so it's brightening. This is also so good to be put under your makeup and I always make sure that I'm putting on eye cream before I do any makeup especially putting on eye makeup and the concealer. It just helps the concealer and the eye makeup to go on so much more better because it is moisturized and it is not acting up. Those were the four things right from your refrigerator or from your pantry that you can use to brighten up your eyes, get rid of dark circles, fine lines and deep off your eyes and just make them look alive try them out be consistent with it and let me know in the comment section how you like it also subscribe to my channel and hit that bell icon so that you get notified every time I post a video also follow me on my Instagram and TikTok handles with that this is Debbie signing off I'll see you again very soon bye bye